final battle. How amazing is that? George, give that villager back. Get him a jacket, he's cold. Oh look, a lonely villager. It would be a shame if someone stole him. Quick, George, run. We captured a live one. Villager transportation is a mod that allows you to move villagers on camels and llamas. And this is more convenient than having wheels on a car, a must need in everyday life. I love this mod, and if you use 100% of your brain, you can attach a lead to a llama and then tow the llama with your camel, making transporting multiple villagers easier than buttering your toast. You can also live life a little on the wild side and show these villagers what happens when they step out of line. Or if you get lonely, you can just pick up a villager friend and take him for a lovely stroll around your world. Surf's up, dude. The new water foam update just dropped. Wakes adds in bubbles and foam around all of your water movements, which is a great quality of life mod, and it works so seamlessly with other objects hitting the water. And the look of the wake behind your boat makes you look like a cool dude when doing donuts in your boat and leaving a little skid trail when you take off. And if you pause at the right time, the wake makes the shape of a giant... Johnson, where are we? Oh, this is your home? And it's called a tidal town? Tidal Towns adds in new lore and a new village floating in the ocean. Now when rowing your boat gently down the stream, you may stumble across a new villager town, which can be exciting to find. As you can see, these villagers do not have homes, so they don't sleep, but there is plenty of food and barrels to raid while you overthrow the water people. But these villagers do have homes. There are two different styles of towns you can find, both offering different needs. I really like the design of this mod. It's so simple it suits into vanilla Minecraft. And the best part about this mod is they serve as a foundation to a water base for you to build off. Netflix, are you still watching? Someone's daughter. Hole filler mod is the perfect mod for anyone who blows up their mate's homes, accidentally blows up a temple trying to get the loot, or keeps having creepers sneak up behind you. You now get new throwable items that will fill the holes in automatically, and it works really well with recreating what was blown up, and getting the holes back to normal. You can also fill up the holes with magma blocks or ice blocks, and it looks great when you layer the magma and the ice blocks to make your own pool. There are a few different types of hole fillers which will fill up certain holes depending on how big they are. So make sure you have the right filler fit for the job. There is also a light block you can throw on the holes to light up the areas and also a dark block so you can turn the lights out. Now let's make minecarts better with link carts. Link carts makes it so you can now use chain to link up minecarts and attach them together to make a mini roller coaster. Makes it a lot better for your farms being able to take more loads around the tracks. Transporting items around and even transporting a whole village becomes a lot easier too. And I mean, how cool does it look when three minecarts are rolling around the tracks? Let's give the sniffer a little makeover with the snowy sniffer mod. But don't be fooled, this isn't a sniffer with snow on it, it's Pablo Escobar's doggo that has escaped and just wants a new friend. And I love how cool these new sniffers looks. To get a layer of Pablo on your sniffer, it needs to be in a snowy biome while it's snowing. And it will land on it and turn it into a snowy sniffer. And look how cute the babies look but get them to a warm place as they get the shakes from being cold. I love how simple this mod is and would love to see variants of this mod on other mobs. No more living life on easy mode. Now let's make the dragon as angry as your mum when you forget to take dinner out of the freezer. True ending makes the end island feel like a boss fight with particles floating around the island, which looks great. End crystals are now blue and it tells you how many crystals are left each time you blow one up. Which, why isn't this in vanilla Minecraft? The dragon shoots more dragon breath at you now, so I hope your endurance is up to speed. But that's not all. Every now and then she will rise up into the heavens only to come down for a ground pound, pushing out a shockwave big enough to move Jabba the Hutt. But she looks damn good when doing this manoeuvre. And if you slap her enough, she will get cranky and send out a swarm of dragon breath. And these will linger around for a while. But that's not all. When she has had enough of your shit, she brings out the angry mama bear. She will belly flop on you so hard it bounces her back into the stratosphere, where she unleashes a defense mechanism straight from the Death Star scary enough to make Satan her neat new undies. This is a deadly maneuver, which is hard to avoid. But all is fine and dandy once you get her health down to empty, just like my fuel tank. She gracefully floats up into the air accepting defeat. And she only requires one more blow to be defeated. You can't shoot arrows at her, but you can walk underneath her and ascend up to give her the final blow. All it takes is one hit and you have conquered the end of the game.
I also had physics mod installed, that's why the dragon's body flopped around like that. This is honestly one of the best dragon fight mods I've ever seen, and I recommend everyone install this and give it a go. Explorify adds in new structures to your world. There is only a couple of new structures, which includes the Badlands pyramids, and this is just like a normal pyramid that has loot on the inside. Just be careful not to blow it up when you get down the bottom. You can find these new stone houses in the woods, but be prepared as there is a spawner inside, which can easily turn into an XP farm, if you're strong enough to tame this spawner. And exploring through the mountains, you will stumble across a new mountain hut, the perfect little place for you to spend the night at. And I love how simple these look. And the best part is, there is also a wrecked new ender ship that has some loot in it. Makes going to the end a bit more fun, and I hope we see something like this in a future update. Are you sick and tired of smacking your melon on trees when exploring? Well, look no further than better trees. As you can see, team trees really paid off, and you can easily walk around the forest, jungles, and any tree biome in your world. Trees now spawn their leaves at a good height, so you can easily ride your horse or camel through without getting KO'd by a tree branch or leaf, and it just changes the overall aesthetic of your world, making it look a lot better. I'm giving you guys a surprise today, with not one, but two mods combined together. The first mod is Better Combat, which gives you some nice new fighting animations so you can unalive your mates in style now. This only affects certain weapons, but they all have their own animation. And the second mod is Better First Person, making it so your head now moves like real life, so you can make sure you are wearing pants before you leave the house. But fuse these mods together and they go just as hard as Vegeta, giving you great animations and movements while you stab enemies with your prison shank. And I love how well these go together, and my favourite move would have to be the stab with your water fork. You definitely feel like a ninja or a martial artist with these mods combined. And when going into battle, your confidence will be boosted by a thousand percent. Now let's unlock your inner dumbass breathing technique with dual wielding. Dual wielding adds in a brand new enchantment that allows you to hold two swords at the same time, which looks pretty ne- what, what the hell is going on here? You guys don't mind if I make some orphans, right? As you can see, dual wielding lets you swing both swords at the same time, making you super efficient with your attack skills. And using two swords at the same time will make you feel like a Nosuke, but you aren't cool enough to be Tenjin Uzui with your two swords. This is a great little mod for some fun mini games with your mates. And look at how much of a silly goose you look like when swinging two swords. But before we move on, I just found a child that needs to go meet his parents. Are you lazy like me and don't want to open your inventory every time you pick up an item? Pick up Notifier lets you know in the bottom corner of your screen what items you have recently picked up, and it's got a nice little animation to come and go from your screen without interrupting or getting in the way. But you may have to set your GUI scale a little bit higher, so you can read what items you are picking up, as I did find it a bit small with how I normally have my GUI scale set at. It's time to enter the matrix with Immersive MC. Immersive MC vaults some GUI screens from your world and makes interacting with tables so much better. Now when you touch a table, which you can right click to place down the items to make what your heart desires. And how goddamn cool does this look? I find the displays work flawlessly and the recipe always faces you. Only downfall to this mod is the recipe book is like John Cena and you can't see it. So unless you know the recipes, you'll have to look them up. Supplementaries adds in quality of life to your world by adding in a heap of new decoration blocks and fun items. First up, you can spend your days acting like Bart Simpson with a slingshot and it's perfect for decorating a house from a distance. Or just have some fun shooting it as the animations look wicked with it. Spice up your life with some brand new paintings of all sorts of designs. You can finally hang up a painting on your house that is good enough to make are so jealous. And I love how big some of these paintings are. You can now have doormats in your home to welcome guests in your own special way. There is even little booby traps for you to prank your friends with. <laughs> He said booby. There is now netherite trap doors and house doors, and there's even different style presents for you to put items in and write your mate's name on. And for all you smart people out there, there are some new redstone contraptions. I'm not smart enough to figure them out, but here are what these three blocks look like. You can now get custom signs that look like arrows to point you in the right direction. These can be placed on fences, but for some reason my game glitched out and made the fences disappear when I placed them. So they look like they are floating. Candles on sticks can be placed in a pile to make different styles to suit your theme, and they can even be hung from a roof and if you hoard potions you can now store them in big old jars to use later which is a great little addition overall this is a jam-packed mod with so many new features i didn't cover and i'd highly recommend checking this out for yourself i'd also recommend checking out the youtube recommended video youtube knows what you like so you won't be disappointed and i'll see you legends over there